tweens! Today we're going to learn how to make some faux painted signs. Like this one I made for Mother's Day. And today we're going to do a thank you one for delivery people that you can hang up in your doorway. All you're going to need is a design that you can either print out from your computer using a fancy uh, font um, or maybe some click art or you can draw something yourself using a marker. Just make sure that it is something that um, is waterproof. The other thing you're going to need are some water washable markers, kind of like Crayola. I think Rose Art makes some too. Um, you'll need some water and you'll need some plastic baggies. I think uh, plastic wrap would work just as well too. Um, but something that uh, you can color on and get wet. So let's begin. To begin with, you're going to want to protect your work surface. I put a uh, paper towel down because it might, uh, the marker might bleed through. And then I put down my printed piece of uh, art. Um, you can print it on regular printer paper uh, or you can use cardstock. Printer paper may look a little lumpy when you first do it, but then you can dry it flat and flatten it out a little bit more once it's dry. So this is a piece of cardstock, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a baggie, and I've picked out the colors I want to use today. This really kind of dark pink, a, uh, almost teal color, and a yellow, and then I'm going to Scribble all around the baggie. And see it kind of beads up. It doesn't want to stick on here, which is good. That's what we want. And so then I've got my baggie full of color. Now I can do this two ways. I can just take a little bit of water on the tips of my fingers and get it wet. Or if you have a spray bottle, you can spray it and get it wet. I'm going to move this to the side for a second, and I'm going to show get my spray bottle, sprayed it just a little bit, and I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to kind of smush it all around, make sure it's beaded up nicely. You don't need a lot of water on this, okay? And then I'm going to decide, I kind of want it here, I think like that. And so after I've gotten it wet and smushed, I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to smush it around and use my fingers to kind of smear the ink a bit. Make it look nice and abstract. Now I like that, but I think I want a little bit more color in around here. So I'm going to do it again. Add some more onto my baggie. Get it a little bit wet. Smear it with my finger. And then I can apply it over here. Smoosh it in a little bit more. There you go. Okay, I really liked how that came out. So now I'm going to do some of my second color. And I'm going to choose my teal here. Start swirling it around. And you want to use colors that if they come together and, and the ink runs, that they won't make a just yucky color mess. So like blue and pink or blue and red make purple. Those colors would go together well. Or um, yellow and blue make green. Uh, if you mix, say, yellow and green and red and purple, you're going to end up with just like a gray split. So I'm going to get a little bit wet. Smoosh it around with my fingers here. Get it all nice and goopy. 
want this to kind of be down here. Smoosh it around. I'm definitely going to want to fill in some more of this. because I don't like how that's all disconnected. Add some more color, add some more water. Center that, and then flip it. Add some more color, I can move my my sheet around a bit. There we go. And there we have our sign. Now, I actually like the way that looks without the yellow, so I think I'm gonna leave the yellow off. And I think it came out great and I'm just going to uh, let it dry and then I can hang it up in my window. So there you have it, tweens. Faux colored signs using just washable markers, a baggie, and some water. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.